Oh, the kids. Oh, thanks to Grandpa for sending me the banner. Nah. That'll stop them. Sure it will. Watch it. Yeah. Maybe we should get bungee cords over there and watch them fly backwards. Anyway, what's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com. Check it out. So uh, I, uh, I was able to uh, get some old stuff and I uh, redid my shop. So I want to show you. This is my uh, 44 square foot home shop. It's a barn door. It's a shed. I think it was homemade. But uh, it's pretty cool because uh, I've, I've made some space in here and I've done a lot of stuff in here. So I want to show you what it looks like. I'll give you a quick pan around. Of the uh, of the top here, and I brought my lathe home. And here's the shelving, and then here's the bottom, and everything I've got around here. So let me show you what we got in here. All right, so where shall I start? I'll start with the stuff that's in the open. So uh, my screwdrivers and uh, some things I wanted to hang out here. That's what I got hanging out currently. Um, some zip ties and things, random stuff. I got bins here, here, and here. And a little toolbox full of uh, full of all sorts of old, older, cool, fun things. Like this. Deep freezer keys, yeah. Those are my great uncles, I have no idea. Uncle Austin's. Anyway, um, kind of a random toolbox that one is. Got some wire and uh, some other bits, bits and pieces in there. Uh, some extra bolts and hardware right there. This is all my electrical stuff. So I got quite a bit in that bin. This is all my uh, drywalling and, uh, and mudding and that kind of stuff. Some scrapers in there. Some of the oddball cans go up there. I got uh, some... Uh, uh, I forgot. Fish tapes. Another one here. Some electrical cords. Some chemicals there. Now, the cool one of the cool things about um, my current uh, setup here is that I put these benches in, and uh, this is actually the side of a cabinet, and it has a nice wood front on it. So I just cut it and I fit it in here. They were like eight foot long pieces or something, seven and a half foot long. So I ended up just cutting them, and then I had some of this thin quarter inch whiteboard. And I cut it to uh, just fit around here to make a roll off so everything doesn't roll behind here. Because the way this is built, here's some open beams still. These are This is the way this barn is built. It's really kind of weird and so everything falls behind there. But because I had this nice backsplash, I can actually put all of my cans out and nicely see exactly what I got. Which is pretty cool because it used to just be all up here and I couldn't find anything. It was like this. What's this can? I gotta get up here and look, you know. These are too tall, that's why they're up here. So that was nice. Um, and then these shelves we took apart at work, and I had to re-actually build the shelves to fit these right. Um, but I rebuilt and cut all the shelves and put these back together. So I got pull-out drawers here, new pull-out drawers there from some old stuff I had. Drawers, pull-out drawers, pull-out drawers. I got all my, uh, my tape and stuff in there. That one's a bit of a mess. I gotta figure out how to organize that a little better. A few of them up there that I can't quite get. So let's start with this cabinet. This is all my tools and these are charging. Everything here is plugged in. I've got, uh, I got all my cords back there plugged into a power strip. So safely charging, which is nice. Um, these are my uh, other impact and drill. And down here I've just got some uh, some hardware here some other random bits. This is kind of the random drawer. Then down here, um, I've actually got this big drawer and it doesn't slide well. Let me figure that out. This is all my odds, battery chargers and there's a few solar panels and inverters and just hot heat gun, stuff like that goes in this one. And it doesn't quite fit. Uh, this is my rope container. It's a little big, but I just started figuring out how to organize. So I just I just stuck them in there. I got my uh, Zalzals here. This is an old one that was I uh, fixed. I don't have a battery for it. This is a plug-in one. Um, I do have an air line in here and a full-size big air compressor. This is a really big air compressor. 
It's a double tank. It's got the wheel in the front, handles in the back. It's portable. It's 120. Got my uh, drill press back here, which uh, I don't use a whole lot, so I just kind of stashed it away and used some used some desk space. I still got storage up here to slide a few things. I'll probably put a small drawer right here to put my lathing tools in. It's probably where I'm going to do. I do have a uh, bench grinder back there. It's hard to see. And uh, I don't use that, so I just put it under there because it makes a giant mess. So if I ever do use it, I'll probably use a hand grinder. I got a bunch of spray paint back there I don't know where to put. Toolbox full of old old type tools. Um, this is my electronics bin kit right now. Those are projects I'm working on at home. Got my um, big tool kit. Nuts and bolts and stuff. This is... Uh, this is the random nice drawer. This has all my nice uh, slides, slide rules, and things Daddy, like that in here. Tape? Yes, it is, Riley. That's it's that's my my grandpa's. Like when you're like a child with me. Yeah. That, see, look. That. See that. that? See that ED? Yeah. It's right there. Let's see if we can get it. ED. That's Earl Dom. That's my grandpa. This was my grandpa's. Like when you're like a child like me. Your grandpa gave to you. Yeah. That's fun. Yep. So anyway, so that's that. Grandpa didn't need it anymore. Pins. Ooh. Some uh, heat shrink and stuff. Daddy, I know that pen right down there. It looks the same. Yes. This is uh, an old uh, hand drill. Back there is uh, the. Um, I don't know if I can see it. That guy back there is a drain. The drain deal. I forgot what it's called. Snake. That's actually a plastic welder in a whole kit. Battery charger, a full-size battery charger that you roll around, except I compacted it for the uh, the big boy supply there. Another toolbox is full of bigger tools, come along, chain hoist, a few things like that. Leftover batteries currently. Here, step over here. Big girl. I got my vacuum cleaner. This is an old one that I pulled off. Uh, it works really well. I got uh, gloves and uh, some towels and uh, a oh, suit in here. There's some uh, hoses and pipes and things. This is a uh, table saw type thing. I don't use it much, so I can. These are really light. I can just slice these out and get to this. I do have a welder in here, even. Believe it or not, there's a welder in there. And uh, oh, I guess we'll start with these drawers. You stay there, Robert. So these are uh, some bigger steel pieces that I couldn't uh, couldn't get in the bins here. Uh, crowbars. Big plate steel. This is pretty big pieces in here. Um, there is plate steel along here. A um, few big pieces here. You can see them back there. Big old guys. So let's see what's in the first drawer. Oh, what's this? Uh, pneumatic saw, pneumatic uh, wrench, Dremel tool, uh, digital tack. I was broke. I fixed it. The battery tester. These are hole saws. That's a die grinder, and that's a. 18 gauge penny nail or a uh, finished nailer. Brad nailer. Watch your hands. Next one down, we got my angle grinder, the uh, Dremel tool. This is a spare that my dad broke. I'm supposed to fix it for him. <laughs> like two years ago. Uh, Dewalt, uh, got that for my, uh, what did I get that for? Christmas. Yeah. Grandma. Grandma got that for, for Christmas. For you? Yep. That's and fun. this is my camera bag that I'm using right now and my tripod. Okay, watch out. All right, this is all my tooling. Oh. This is full of end mills, end mills, end mills. Yes. Some other stuff, got drill Whoa. bits, more end, end mills, other stuff. These are some old, old, old school socket hand drill drill bits that's Whoa. got adjustable What's heads it? on them. What's this? They're pretty cool. Problem is I'm gonna have to grind these off because I don't have one of them big old hand, hand jobbies. Anyway, some cutters. Uh, New blades, end mills, drill bits, drill bits, tap and die, more cutters. If you guys have never seen these, these are really, 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 really nice. These weren't that expensive. But they've got the screw tips on them and they suck themselves through. Those are the hole, awesome. hole cutters for wood. Awesome. Drill bits, drill bits, drill bits. That's my tooling drawer. That thing weighs a brick. Yep, watch your legs in case this door breaks. So this is my, my steel drawer. Oh. Brackets and steel and pipes and tubes and bolts. And this drawer is heavy, this drawer is heavy. I 
mat hits the ground, but this comes all the way out. You can see plate steel, some brackets, 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 some big cold rolled steel, chunks of steel, big pipe, things of this nature. Cool. Um, got my tool bag, which actually usually sits in this corner, but I took it off here because it looks it looks nicer when it's not up here. So put it back up there. Um, hold on, Rabbi. Right? Well, don't. <laughs> so this is the uh, the vice. Are you ready? Are you ready to go, Baba, or something? Are you ready to eat? Okay, be in in a second. I'm almost done with my shop tour. 44 square feet. This is my dream shop. Turn around this way. You can turn around this way. Yeah, that's that's about right. That's that's everything in reach. That's what's good. I got my my light in here. Let's see if it's bright. Oh yeah, it's bright. And uh, good job, Dex. So we're not done yet, right? This is this is a lot of things, a lot of stuff, but there's more. I had to find out where to put the rest of my stuff. So I've got my two. Um, oh, you can't see because of the light. There you go. You got my two um, my two jobbies up here and the full uh, the full square. Ah, sorry about the light. You got the full square up here. I do have a uh, squirrel cage fan right here, so I can. Uh, it's an old microwave one, so I can get cooled off when I need to. Um, there is the uh, the two guns that go up there. Let's see. Oh, I didn't put anything on the back side. I think I actually had enough room. Oh man, Dexter's mad. So here's the uh, tap and die set. I got my all my type of uh, clamps, hand clamps, Some nails up there. I got uh, my staple guns right here. And on this side, I've got C clamp, C clamp, C clamp, C clamps. On the back side, I got all my uh, all my guns. I guess that's it. Huh? All my air air utensils. So that's it. That's the shop tour. And before this one explodes, boom! It's gonna explode. You watching? Anyway, well, that's the shop tour. Now it's time to eat. Peace and love, you guys, and enjoy this little clip of my daughter checking out the shop. You don't have to watch it, but most of you will, because it's pretty funny. So, hear that? Ooh, I better go take care of it. And, of course, I got a few signs out here. Like, uh, this one's pretty funny. I've always had this guy. Russell's Shoe Corn. My wife found this one in the uh, shopping center, believe it or not. So, uh, dangerous when wet. Anyway, so that is the uh, 44 square foot uh, dream shop. This is actually five and a half feet this way and eight feet this way. So believe it or not, I have all of this stuff packed in here. And um, yeah, I'm actually gonna be starting to do a few projects here. I'm currently rebuilding my hot end for my 3D printer. Um, I was doing nylon and I had some problems and I'm just gonna redo some stuff with a smaller nozzle. So I got some work cut out for me. Doing my laptop in here as well. So, okay. Peace out. God bless. Have a good day. Peace and love. And uh, be thankful for what you have. Almost burned my house down a couple days ago. Uh, yes, uh, Saturday night, which was two days ago. Charging a lithium battery. I'll show you the picture. But everything's alright. A little bit of cleanup. Got to replace the counter. Yeah, not really enough to make a whole video about. But be thankful for what you got. Whew. Blessings. Have a good day. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? I just woke up. Do you like my new shop? Yes. Isn't it nice? Yeah. Oh, I love you too. Missed you. You did? Yeah. Well, that was nice that you missed me. How come you missed me? I just love you. You do? Mm -hmm. That's so kind of you. I love you too, you know that? This is shiny, it's new wood. Yeah, isn't it nice? Yep. Yeah. I like it. Yep. I think it's awesome. Or if you want to paint, or if you want to paint like this or that. Like, oh, okay. no. oh, wait, 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 wait. We'll bend it. I don't want to bend this one. This delicate straight piece I got. Really? That one is. Yep. Do you just buy two? Just one. Huh. Yeah. I want to buy my I want to buy my own nails and it's gonna be pink. Oh really? Yep. 
Okay, great. Elijah, leave them alone. You'll get splinters. Leave it alone. Okay, leave it alone. Good boy. When I wear these, I got, um, like, these with no socks. With no socks? Get, yeah, then I'll not get, I'll, I'll get, but if I don't wear them with my socks, I'll get, like, a blister. Really? Yeah, because it's really blister. Okay. Yeah, so I have to wear socks and wear them. They're going high. Okay. What is that? Yeah, like that. That is uh, liquid stuff. Well, for what? It's actually for um, coating starship coils. It's a concrete sealer. Oh. It's like when you, like, you kind of get cracks. Well, it's for when I make a coil and I want it to all stay together. So that's glue? Yeah, kind of. It's a sealer. Huh. Hey, what's that? That's my mini lathe. What does it do? Well, right now it doesn't do anything. Does it print stuff? Nope, it's, it turns, this turns, and I cut stuff. I can show you later, I'm gonna cut some stuff. Cool! Yeah. It's my measure tapes. Yep. Different, different, different sizes. sizes. What else do you those see? Were, those are the ones we bought for you. Screwdrivers? Yep. Like oh yeah, the colored ones, yes. Me Daddy, metric. My What's up? Screwdriver burnt melted. The, I can buy a new one. The I whole can... thing melted. Yes. And Dexter's too. Dexter's too? Yeah. No, mine is melted, so I can buy a new one. We're gonna have to get new ones. We have to replace the one. Yeah, we have to replace and the I one. I can still buy like like a plane, but three planes. Three like, planes. Like a rescue one. Like the bad one that has the plane. Yeah. The green one that Dexter has. And the fireman to kill like the bad guy. Okay. Because you know, Dexter has the bad guy. Yeah. But there's no plane, but I'm gonna buy for planes. And if he if he if he dies, then I'm gonna well, I'm, I'm going to have, like, that Dexter has the villain thing. Okay. And that, and he, his, his, his damage is so strong. Do you have any idea what you're doing? What? What are you doing? Around here. Huh? Just walking around here, Dad. Oh, alright. What else do you see? I see that. What's that? Ooh, basket. Bins? Those are bins. Is that light? Yep, a flashlight that, that needs a new bulb. That looks just like ours to play with. Yep, that one's not to play with though. That's because I whack my head on everything in here. Yep, it looks the same because it's blue. It does look the same. The hey, blue. I'm almost out of time, so say hi to everyone. Hi. Say, my name's Riley. My name's Riley. Say, my, dad is, my dad's name is Russ. My dad's name is Russ. And this is RWG Research. Say, say, RWG, RWG, research, research, high fives, knuckles, thumbs up, what's next? Headbutt. Oh, that was a good one. All right, peace out.